Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Welcome to the next episode of the Star Trek Online playthrough. I've put a link below to my other Star Trek game walkthroughs if you're interested below. So moving on, we're up to Fluid Dynamics, which is the last mission of Borg Advance. The data you recovered from the Borg Cube indicates that the Borg have established a foothold in Undyne space. The Undyne seem to make very little distinction between alien races, so it's quite possible that the Borg presence in their home is causing their aggressive behaviour. We cannot afford a full-out war with the Undyne, their biotechnology surpasses even our most advanced technology. Well yeah, of course it does. Therefore, we have assembled an expedition to remove the Borg presence from fluidic space. We found a system where the fabric of the two dimensions are breaking down. This is our best shot at creating a stable quantum singularity. The expedition will include USS Voyager, commanded by Admiral Tuvok. He has analysed the data you received from the Borg Cube and is confident he can create an artificial singularity. Your orders are to cross into fluidic space with Voyager, locate the Borg and remove them if possible. Avoid conflict with the Undyne, well yeah, they will have the advantage and you'll end up in a fight you can't win. So we need to travel to the CUDA system and rendezvous with the expedition fleet and cross into fluidic space. Right, okay, yeah, we do need to avoid fighting the Undyne as, I mean, gosh, they just leveled a planet, didn't they? Oh, what's this? Adaptive Transphasic Torpedo. Interesting. Let's set a course. And let's use Transwarp. As you can see, I'm not in front of a starbase this time, or Earth space dock. I'm learning. We don't transwarp into things. Harry Kim. And thank you for pointing out that you can actually get the Infinity Modulator, so I'm going to have to try and do that ASAP. Of course, the great Garrett Wang returns as Harry Kim. Here we go. Nice backdrop. Welcome to the CUDA system. Ah! I am Admiral Tuvok of the USS Voyager. I will provide tactical assistance on this mission. Wow! It's a privilege, Admiral. I studied the exploits of Voyager at Starfleet Academy. Thank you. Your meteoric rise through the ranks is well known to me as well. Sensors indicate the division between normal and fluidic space is thinner here, making crossing much easier. The Undine have used this location in the past. We will use it now. Oh, is it Undine, not Undyne? Okay, I shall from this moment forth refer to them as Undine. The majority of the fleet will remain here to protect this area. Our team will enter fluidic space, locate, and then survey the Borg presence there. If possible, we will destroy it. When you are ready, Voyager will open the singularity. Okay, open the singularity. It must be a little strange for Tuvok to be on Voyager still. I suppose he considers it home. So we've got a galaxy class there, the Venture. Now that, is that a refit one actually? Interesting. I don't see any phaser strips on the cells. Let's enter the singularity. Ooh, there goes Voyager. Ah, oh, neat. We have made a successful transition into fluidic space. Unlike our own, this dimension is filled with an organic fluid. The main indigenous life form is species 8472. Sensors are detecting a Borg signature nearby. Your vessel will take the lead in the investigation. We will follow. You know, I've always liked how uh, Tuvok says uh, sensors. You never say sensors, he says sensors. Acknowledged, we'll take point and find the source of the signal. Sir, we are being affected by a wave-like current in fluidic space, which is causing our ship to move involuntary. I wish we had more time to study this phenomenon. Well, being a scientist, you would say that. But I don't want to stay in fluidic space. Was that a Klingon ship? It is. IKS. Oh, neat. How can we fail when we've got the Klingons by our side? Oh, that's interesting. Some sort of device. We need to scan it. I'm going to increase power to the shields, actually. Divert power from weapons, put them to shields. Scans indicate this is an interplexing beacon, sir. 
The Borg must not be able to transmit their subspace frequencies as easily through the organic fluid that comprises fluidic space. These relays are boosting the signal to allow communication with the Collective in normal space. This means we should be able to follow these beacons to the Borg foothold here. Okay. So we're going to track the Borgies down. It's so cool how Tim Russ is in this. I didn't know he was in it, so that, that's that's really cool. Data required. There appear to be a total of five interplexing beacons in the sequence. The next one is just ahead. Ah, interplexing beacons. That brings me back to first contact and the deflector dish fight. That was cool. <laughs> Don't think the bug expected that one, did they? Ejecting the um, deflector dish. And then Worf, of course. The famous shot where he says, assimilate this and shoots it. Do you know, it reminded me of Independence Day a bit, that. When you saw it flying near the Earth, it almost looked like one of those alien ships. Commander, this beacon appears to be picking up a subspace transmission from within fluidic space with a Starfleet signature. Recommend we investigate. It could be a ship in distress. Agreed. Set an intercept course for the source of the signal. We've been examining the data on the interplexing beacons, and we believe we may have discovered a vulnerability in the Borg subspace carrier wave technology. If it's acceptable to you, I would like the Venture to remain here and run some tests while you investigate the signal. We may not get another opportunity. That is acceptable. We will investigate the signal while the Venture remains here. Okay. Turn around. These things are weird. Why do I get the feeling we're about to get ambushed? And the fleet's not with us either. You'd think they'd come with us, really. Which they are doing, but just slower. Look at this thing. Ooh, we've got some contacts here. This landmass is unique in fluidic space. It is not a planet by Starfleet definitions. If I had to categorize it, I would say it is similar to the coral reefs found in Earth's oceans. The ground itself is a framework for living creatures. Thank you, Tuvok. I couldn't put that into words, but you've done that brilliantly. Fascinating. We are detecting a number of ships in the area. Starfleet, Klingon Defense Force, mm. Romulan Republic, even Ferengi and Cardassian. Most species from the Alpha and Beta Quadrants appear to be represented. That's strange. Oh yeah! Look at them all! It's like Wolf 359, but in fluidic space. What ship's that actually? Oh, Walker class! Curious, these ships have identical configurations to ships found in the Alpha and Beta Quadrants, but they cannot have been constructed there. I'm detecting alloys that are not used in standard ship construction. Oh dear. Are we going to have another booth be running? The alloys correspond to technology found on Iconia and in recovered Iconian technology. But why would the Iconians make fake ships? I'm detecting some kind of gateway opening and a huge fleet coming through. Oh, great. Whoa. Interesting. Okay, this this just went to a different level, didn't it? We're picking up an incoming distress call from the USS Venture. Captain Simmons to Voyager. The Borg are here. We're taking heavy fire and need immediate assistance. Set course to the Venture. Maximum speed. Hang on. It's that way, isn't it? So this story just got rather interesting, didn't it? So the Iconians... I thought it was Species 8472, but it sounds like the Iconians. Or the Iconian technology, at least. Who knows what's going on? Well, 
Well, I've diverted all power to the engines. Ah, here we go. Escape pods. Oh dear. Full power to weapons then. I'm not going to shoot the escape pods. I'm just worried about what we might find. We can beam them aboard. Dr. Cooper was in an escape pod, Captain. He wants to speak to you from the transporter room. Uh, uh, I never should have come on this mission. I'm a scientist, not an explorer. Take me out of this awful place right now! Calm down for a second and talk to me. What happened? The Borg attacked and we had to abandon ship. We were floating here, waiting, and then... Undine! They came out of nowhere, tore through us like tissue paper. We shouldn't have invaded their space. They're so strong, we're weak. Please take me out of here. Ugh, and yet another galaxy class gets destroyed. What about Captain Simmons? She's not in the escape pods. Uh, I don't know. It all happened so fast. She insisted on being the last one to leave the ship. I don't even know if she made it out alive. Now, can we leave? I'm sorry, Dr. Cooper, but we have a mission to complete. Gosh. See, now Bones wouldn't be like that, would he? Yes, he would still moan, but he would get the job done still. So we've got to scan the next interplexer. So I'm assuming we're just going to leave the Undyne to the Iconians then. That's a weird looking thing. It's like a cell or something. Ooh, don't crash! Beacon scanned. Coordinates of final beacon have been downloaded. This beacon is handling a significant amount of traffic, sir. The last beacon should give us the information we need. Okay. One more beacon to go. So this is the last mission for the Borg campaign. Oh, look! Borg is... Oh gosh, I see multiple Borg cubes. Ooh. That's unusual. Have the Undyne assimilated the Borg? What's going on? What if the Borg assimilated the Undyne? Okay, I'm getting distracted now. I need to get back to... I've missed something. Ah, here we go. Sir, this is the final beacon. I have the coordinates of the Borg fleet. We're very close. Shields up, proceed with caution. They are up! Don't think I'd forget something as important as that, do you? Oh, there's Voyager. We've got to engage a Borg fleet. Ah, fantastic. Question is... Oh, that's a point. That is a point. Now I think about it, we'll... The Borg presence is much larger than we anticipated. Nevertheless, our orders are to remove as much of it as possible. Voyager will follow your lead. <laughs> I was just thinking then, would our shields even work in fluidic space? Thinking about it, I think Voyager still had shields when it was in fluidic space. We need those nano torpedoes. Well, one down, 5,000 to go. Got another assimilator. Kaboom. Oh gosh! Who's next? 
Oh, books fit. They got no shields. So we're in a Unimatrix. How terrifying. Luckily, we've not had any ball cubes to deal with yet, as I don't think we could deal with those, surely. Shoot on sight. Oh! Splintered shield. Looks like we've got two awards there. I'm going to assume the reason why our ship is so effective against the Borg is down to Admiral Janeway's technology. Even though the Borg assimilated that shuttle, maybe the information was lost, I don't know. Although now think about it, uh, in Picard, when the Enterprise took out those turrets, it did a very good job. You could argue the Borg were in a very weakened state though by then. Oh! Interference! Have I been hit with something? Full power to the shields. Oh, we need the shield recharge. There we go. These diamonds are quite big, aren't they? Ooh. is preparing a feedback pulse. Hold your fire. Ah! Stop firing! Discontinue! No! Computer end program! Oh, rats. I actually didn't know how to stop firing then. I suppose if I targeted a different ship. Opening singularity now. Oh. I recommend an immediate withdrawal. That's good timing, isn't it? Phew! <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, brilliant. That's great. Man, 
You almost wonder if they went a bit overkill then, actually. <laughs> they combined, they did use the uh, planet power level beam against the Unimatrix. We need to report to Starfleet Command immediately. We thought that the Undine were responding to a Borg incursion into their space, but it now appears that the Iconians, or some entity posing as them, has created false Alpha and Beta Quadrant ships and sent them into fluidic space. Clearly, the Undine attacked us because they thought we attacked them first. It's all soon with the bad news, I see. There is some good news. The spread of the Borg nanovirus has halted, and thanks to the doctor's research, we should be able to prevent future planets from being assimilated in this manner. The Borg will adapt in time, but we have also stopped them from transmitting the technique for undine assimilation to the collective. It is possible they could learn how to do so again. We will need to remain vigilant. What's about the Borg in fluidic space? The Borg in fluidic space were forced to retreat, and logic suggests it will be quite some time before they trouble the Undine again. The end of the Borg attacks in their home might stop the Undine advance into our space. But if the Iconians continued to trick Species 8472 with false incursions, they could decide to invade ours in retaliation. What happens now? Voyager will take Dr. Cooper and the other survivors back to Earth. I suggest that we all confer with our fleet commanders to determine the next course of action. We have not seen the last of the Undine. Understood. Until next time, Admiral. Ooh. Oh, so we've completed the Borg advance. So we need to depart the system, I believe. We may not have been able to remove the Borg presence in fluidic space, but it looks like the Undine will. Hopefully this will end their aggressiveness. However, I find your reports of false flag ships in fluidic space troubling. If the Iconians are trying to trick the Undine into believing that we're invading their space, it could explain everything that's happened. Unfortunately, it only means that the Undine may be prompted into an invasion of their own. And if that happens, our entire dimension will be at risk. Reward time. I'm going to go for that one. Ooh. Well, there we go. So we've completed the Borg advance mission. So it looks like the next level up 30 will be made a captain and we'll be able to upgrade to a new ship. So I'm really looking forward to that one. The next campaign is titled New Romulus. So again, looking forward to that one. Thanks for watching and hope to see you all in the next episode. Bye for now.